We're in vlog two. We're uh, just getting set up here in the pits. We've got our tent up. Uh, airplane's ready to go. We're gonna have a meeting in about 15 minutes, and then we got our first pra practice sec session. Uh, full house. I believe we got 22 planes, 23 planes, something like that. Everybody's kind of getting their stuff ready today. Uh, it's gonna be real high DAs, so it's gonna be kind of an adjustment day for props um those guys with turbos and tuning things are going to be doing so it's kind of a see how I, how the course is get out there go through the process of pushing out starting up trying to be on time the f1 guys are out on the course now already so uh should be a fun day it's already warming up pretty good but i'll uh, bring you some clips as we make it through practice one and we got new wristbands for all the pilots and if you want we've got handfuls of the black ones you can get out to kids or whatever we got like 400 of them. And what's cool about that badge, the back of it is a QR code, like you said, it'll go to your link on the website. And so going forward, all that stuff's gonna have all oh, your paperwork and all that stuff you need. You'll be able to airplanes. We'll see what we get when we get there. Do not start your aircraft until you're ready to do such. Until Kyle gives you the green light, he'll come by and give you that visual verbal from everybody, let's go. Then we'll get going, we'll give everybody ample time to start up. Kyle will say, let's go, follow me. That first row will peel out. And we've all done it real simple. Hold on your question. And we'll just start going symbiotically one by one. There's enough of us out on the ramp to make it smooth. Most of you have been here, done that forever. Those of you that are new, I think there's three of you. Just follow the leader. It's really simple. All right, push it out and line it up for practice. Some guy's not coming out today. All right, here we go. We're starting to taxi down. As previously instructed, Soul 11 is going to turn out of line and wait to return to the pit. In far side, Brian inside. Alright, go up against Temp Shellhorn. He's favored to be in the top three, so it's ought to be not even close, but just a practice run. Brian, come forward a foot. Alright boys, cleared down, we're cleared up, timers are ready, are you ready, are you ready, here we go boys, on the arm drop, 3, 2, 1, Good running, boys. Good running. That's right at about 20 right there, Tim. Both of you guys clear the taxi. Tim, follow Brian. Next two, come on out. All right. Not too bad for first run. All right, so first run, not too bad. Um, kind of learning the swing a little bit. Um, it actually slips really nice. 
Yeah, it's the first real stroll drag run I've done with this wing. So it slips nice. It, it kind of holds the position a little better than the other wing did. Um, and I noticed coming back with a tailwind, I got much slower than I used to be comfortable, especially at this DA. So uh, stopped pretty short and that was landing long. So overall, uh, I got some improvement to do. Okay, we're cleared up course. We're cleared down course. Are you ready? Are you ready? On the arm drop. Three, two, one, see ya. Kyle, we're taxiing after this race. Scratch lane two. Scratch lane two. Watch him, but don't turn your back on Aaron. Good run, boys. Clear to taxi. You guys go all the way to the far end. Just go to the far end. Kyle, they're yours. Let's pick them up. We're going to taxi back on your head or your arm or your thigh or wherever you feel like putting it but so it's visible it's visible and then everybody that comes out onto the ramp has to have a yellow vest can't have anybody that's not in a yellow vest out here you gotta have all right guys that wraps up the first day of practice uh we learned a couple things i put the three blade prop on to test today um i didn't feel like it was pulling as well as I was hoping. Um, our density altitudes, I referred to DA a couple times in the video, our density altitudes were about 7,000 feet today. So down on the horsepower quite a bit from sea level. And that's why I set the pitch on that prop. So I was down about 800 RPM from where I wanted to be. So I could flatten it out a little bit more, but it's already pretty flat. So I'm afraid it's really gonna kill my, uh, my speed in the midsection. So I went back to the two blade prop. We just finished swapping that out made some pitch adjustments from that from its cruise setting we're going to run that tomorrow and we'll compare the times i'll throw up a little time sheet here of where we placed today um, just again first day of practice but i came in there if you look at the s's that's the scratches so if you discount the scratches sitting right about eighth place out of 20 that ran today uh, pretty good i felt real good about the first run second run i pushed the uh, I, I waited too long to cut the power just to see how how it would slow down because it does fly differently with the piggyback stole wing um, but what was encouraging is even with the prop not adjusted right I was a second faster than my best time in 2021 here at Reno and that was the same airplane um, bigger tires smaller wing so just with the small tires and the bigger wing shaved off a second on my first run from of my best run from 2021 so that's that's very encouraging um we're back at it tomorrow 6 30 briefing and then we got another meeting uh before we go out i think we race at nine um early mornings here so we just uh finished getting the plane all ready tucked in for the night and i'll get this video edited up posted for you guys and i appreciate the comments and the encouragement to do this so i'll keep going with it seems like you guys are interested so uh we'll see you tomorrow for uh practice session two